Again! Hi guys, Swan with you here, back again for another match day vlog. In this one then, Stoke City at home for Swansea City towards the end of the season now. And for me, it just can't come quick enough. For both teams, Stoke and Swansea, a very poor season. Both teams got relegated with each other uh, about five, six years ago now. And yeah, both teams have probably flopped ever since, really. We've had that one or two decent seasons under Steve Cooper, but Stoke really haven't um, shone the light since they've been relegated from the Championship. They're currently in 19th. They've had a terrible season under Alex Neil, they're on 37 points. So on to get 12 with 42 points. You know, we're saying points off playoffs, but it's ridiculous to look at playoffs now, in my opinion. At the end of the day, playoffs are basically gone. Uh, our form is patchy, to say the least. Stokes form, very inconsistent side of this level. On paper, they've got a great team, but it just doesn't seem to be clicking for whatever Stokes City manager calls that club, to be honest with you. But, yeah, Sam Klukas looks like he'll be out tonight, which is brilliant. Obviously, he gets... Daily goal against us. Burst and Salina, who arguably is one of our favourite ever players, or one of my favourite players at the Swans. I don't think he'll be playing tonight either. I was really good mates with Burst and Salina, just a flex. Um, you know, I was texting on Instagram now and again. And if anyone knows Marley, he also played Fortnite with Marley as well, which is uh, pretty awesome to be fair. But yeah, Burst and Salina's a top lad. Hopefully he'll play today because I do want to see how he does. But yeah, Stoke home tonight again. Serious Blackpool, really not that. You know, looking forward to it at the end of the day. It's a bit of a dead rubber game. I really want Martin to play attackers today and go for the game. Like Morgan Whitaker, he's got to start for me. Ollie Cooper, why was he benched on the weekend? So, yeah, and he wanted a nice attacking lineup. I don't want to let our board in the team. I want Soranola, who had a man match performance last week. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, a win would be nice. But we know we don't get those very often. So the Swansea team's in for tonight, there are a few changes from that poor performance and loss from Sarri against Blackburn. In goes Andy Fisher, back five, Matty Cernor comes back into the team, Darling Wood, Cabango and Ryan Manning, who looks like he'll be leaving in the summer after a few in a new deal. Joe Allen partners Matt Green in midfield tonight, Jay Fault and out with a suspected injury, which is a bit of a blow. Morgan Whittaker, Ollie Cooper and Joel Pro. Great to see Whittaker getting a chance in the Swansea team. Look, big opportunity for him, but I don't think, you know, if he has a bad game, it's his fault, essentially. But it's great to see him play. Shame that uh, end champ's not playing. I'd like to see, you know, maybe a back four and end champ, Cooper, Whittaker, as a front three with Poro up front. But, yeah, harsh and coloured to be dropped over the last couple of weeks, really, because he was on decent form, so I don't understand why he's been on the bench all of a sudden. But, yeah, Stoke, no Selena, unfortunately. I was a bit annoyed, really. I wanted to see Selena play. But, yeah, no Lucas, which is a good thing. Obviously, he loves a goal against us. But, yeah, big opportunity for the Swans tonight. Form being patch of late, but nice to get a win ahead of another home game next Monday. I'm gonna go for a 2 1 win, same as Blackpool. Scores are gonna go for Morgan Whitaker with a brace for Stoke City on the White Gale. Come on, boys! Go on, what a ball! Whitaker! Yes! Morgan Whitaker, what a start! Come on, Morgan! Cherry should starting a lot more. Morgan Whitaker, two minutes into his first start in over a year since his loan from Plymouth, and he scores. Brilliant ball by Soranola. Brilliant finish. 1 0. Come on, what a start that is. Come on. <laughs> Always right there. Yes, well done. Oh! Oh! Uh, one one, another set piece. Scored early and just been terrible. So to say that equalizer would have been really good. Another set piece conceded. When he gone one one, Swag have been really good so far. They didn't get a really goal and uh, probably be winning this game, but yeah, it's one bit slow, but still plenty of time. No! Again! Well, two hundred stop, one one didn't last long. Josh Lawrence again. Good finish to be fair, but. Defensive mistakes are shocking. We've got the worst defence in the league. And again, really toxic. As soon as the ball goes back to Andy Fisher, they're booing. 
horrible atmosphere to sit in this. I know I'm the one who moans a lot, but it's horrible to sit, sit in this one. Go on, Wits. Go on, Whitaker. Good ball, Peru. Oh, brilliant save. Brilliant save. Peru nearly scored, make it to all. Lovely play by Whitaker again. Come on. Come on. They haven't got any target, man. Well, Darling's come off. We knew he was going to have an half hour in. Enchant on back four. It's always Darling who comes off. Always Darling. What's that? What a save. Well done, Andy. Please. Rare. Offside. What's that defending from Bagabango? Be 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 Join me. This is embarrassing defensively. I've not seen the sit bad a long time. That's saying something. Brilliant save from Andy Fisher, though. He's kept us in the game. End jam should have played with Kane a lot sooner. This should be a lot more than two ones, so game should be done. We are shocking defensively. <laughs> but no, we've got a young squad. Come on! Oh my word! Goal. Oh, it's Ben Wilmot as well. Right, some of Curtis didn't catch it before the game, unfortunately, mate. But uh, what do you think of that? I'm sorry, but it's not good enough. We always pass around the back, even regardless of the score. I mean, good start. Morgan Whittaker shows why he should be starting. Brilliant finish. Um, but he wish he stayed at Plymouth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first goal, I didn't know if it was a foul before the corner. Hard to tell, really. I'll watch, have to watch the replay Well, soon, the, but... the assistant referee got offside, but the referee played on when it wasn't even an advantage to play. Yeah, have to watch the replay later. But second goal, shock or oh. come from our own mistake. A and set piece again, I believe. Passing it around all the time. It's just not good enough. One, not good one, enough. And if it stays like this, it's taxi for a smart for me because it's not good enough. Well, Fisher made a great double save just now to keep it from going 3 yeah, 1. But it's beyond embarrassing now. I think Alex Neil will probably be the more disappointed because the game should be done. I agree. I think Stoke, they know how to play against us. I think that... they've been a slightly better team as well. Oh, not slightly. I think, they, I think they'd be a massively yeah, better team. Yeah, I think team. probably, yeah. Fair play to Stoke. They deserve to be in fight, to be fair. And the thing I will say is Stoke are 19th. Yeah. And... Tell me who's 19th and who's 12th, innit? Well, people talk about the playoffs, but to be honest, I'll be looking over his shoulder at the moment. Yeah. Playoffs my butt because of the way we're playing. Oh, well, hopefully second half can't be as worse, but as we all know, we'd never really do well in the second half. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Half time, as long as I've gone through, I'm one, so i two. Oh, look, it's so promising after a minute and a half with Morgan Whitaker opens the score, and you're thinking, come on, I was trying to get a second, control the game, stalk, you know, as soon as they went one, they'll done the four. I was worrying a little bit about them, but my word. <laughs> It's just not been that game. Even soon still conceded. They just looked on top. They were boss in the midfield. Obviously, end champs come on after half hour, which just shows how poor we've been. Mine for me, I think. Um, I think it's gonna be his last game in charge. Honestly, some of the players out there are performing like they don't want to play under the defence and the goalkeeper. The amount of mistakes they're making today is laughable. We generally do have one of the worst defences in the league. We've conceded one of the most goals. We've I've got his goalkeeper in the league, I'm sorry. But, yeah. As much as I wanted it to work under Martin, I can't see it. Yes, he's not been held by the board, but it's, it's you know, he's still got a decent squad. Much more than capable of getting absolutely battered by 19th in the league. Some of the teams we've not won against this season have been laughable. Wigan, when they were like five games and lost, Huddersfield away. Blackburn on the weekend, no attacking threat, so yeah, see what happens second half. Oh, it's referee. Oh my word, nothing's going our way. It's gonna be one of those mics, so infuriating. Is that foul? Way! He's given a free kick! Unbelievable! Still 2 1 Stoke, 65th minute. No real improvement on the first half, really. it's just that Stoke has dropped off, but. Come on. As much as it's frustrating, just want just a result. Good ball! Unlucky. Well, Liam Walsh comes off of the Swans. Since he's come to the club about two and a half years ago, he's just been sustained with injuries, so it's good to see him back on the pitch. So hopefully he um, doesn't break down and get injured again. Yes! Oh, another chance. Oh my god! Please, Marky Bell. Oh! Deflected. 
That's a ball, isn't it? No. Peru! Oh, the slower shot you'll ever see. And that just about sums it up. Probably one play we're with it from there and too much added time. Five. Should be a lot more than that, but five minutes to get a draw or could be taxi club. Never challenge for it. Come on in, Chamboy. Second ball. Get there, get there, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Keep up. Oh. Well, that's 3 1. Andy Fisher. So that's it for Martin. I'm certainly not complaining. Another a shocker performance for him. How much more does he have to have before people criticise him? Said in August, said in how he's not good enough to be a manager. Yeah, seen a few goals at least. Woo! Well, it doesn't get worse than that. Full time. Sun City 1, Stoke City 3. For 89 minutes of that match, out of the 90, we were shocking. Um, second half, Stoke came, sat back, and uh, they did their job, but Swansea. Wow, 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 wow. Just gets worse every week. Some of the defending on show today was simply embarrassing. Considering we were, we're a championship club, some of that defending doesn't really belong in the football league, let alone championship level. But yeah, for me, I think Martin's got to go. Um, didn't even come around at the end, which just shows he knew he would have had a bad reception. But yeah, it doesn't get much worse than that. Stoke deserve their win. Their fans are pretty decent. Uh, big win for Alex Neal. But um, yeah, considering they're 19 from where 12. You'd think it's the other way around with that performance today, but yeah, another loss. Uh, I thought we were poor on Saturday, and I thought we were even worse today, so yeah, can't wait for next Monday, Monday night football. But, wow, just gets worse and worse and worse. Martin out.